Hi luxurious queens, have you heard of the word trypophobia? If you haven't, then watch on and I welcome you back to my channel. Today I will be discussing about something quite interesting and controversial which I came across while browsing on luxury pre-love websites and this would be the beluga whale leather. Yes, you heard it right and I too had the same reaction when I first saw it which then sparked my interest to dig deeper into this topic. For those of you new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Loki and I love chit-chatting about pre-loved and vintage luxury and leathers. So if you're into this, then I would love to invite you to subscribe and join my family. So without further ado, let's dig deeper into the truths about the beluga whale leather. As I was saying, I was looking through some pre-love sites and chanced upon this white constance. But what drew me to the image was the irregular patchy tones on the surface. Initially, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. But on closer inspection of the bag, I realized that this is made in whale leather. So I went off to do a little bit of research and found that the beluga whale is known as the white whale or the sea canary due to its high-pitched calls. Beluga comes from the Russian word bailo, B-I-E-L-O, meaning white. These whales are arctic and sub-arctic cetaceans. Back in the days, these animals were mainly hunted for their meat and blubber. Commercial whaling during the 18th and 19th century has significantly decrease the beluga populations in the Arctic. Apart from their meat and blubber, the cured skins were used to make horse harnesses, machine belts, shoelaces and sawmills. The beluga whale skin is about 10 times thicker than the dolphins and 100 times thicker than the terrestrial mammal skins. And as such, due to its thickness, these cured skins were also used to make bulletproof vests. So, so in terms of the characteristic of this beluga whale leather, I have not seen it in person. However, it does look a little bumpy on the surface. I would assume that to be slightly rough like coral. On this app, it also says it is a resistant leather. So the types of bags produced so far in the beluga whale leather are as such. Obviously, this leather has been now discontinued and only was used a few decades ago. I would have guessed it is rare as I seldom see the bags made from beluga whale leather. From my research, I have come across only a small number of designs produced in this leather. So this vintage bag from the 1960s, which kind of looks like the Hermes piano but with one center, clefts closure in gold accents and a top handle. When opened, it has a center divider which kind of kind of looks like the Hermes Constance we have today. The second bag which I spotted is the Hermes Constance in size 23. And any Hermes Constance lover would know that the size 23 is now discontinued but they still produce the size 18 and 24 in regular leathers. So far, the beluga whale leather is most commonest seen in the Constance 23 in white which it, with its production dating around the 1968 to 1989. The next design is the Chantilly model made in 1973, which is extremely rare. This is a sling bag also in white, but longer, but longer than white, which is found with a center clasp closure, also in gold hardware. Honestly, I have um, never seen this design before, but I guess it is really, really super vintage. And lastly, I found this last design on Pinterest, but I really am not sure if this is an Hermes bag. It also comes in a flat sling bag style, but with silver hardware. Looking back, I think it would be interesting and eye-opening if a craftsman from Hermes who has managed this leather before could tell us more because we don't come across these letters very often, and I wish I knew more. Well, to be honest, I do have trypophobia, which is the fear of holes. Something like beehives, corals, and this 
beluga whale leather included. It is just the look which I don't quite appreciate or enjoy and it sends me an uneasiness in me. Secondly, the beluga whale is now an endangered and protected species and its killing is not sustainable in the long run just for the blubber and skins and especially not for luxury goods. Current use and objectives in the killing of the beluga whale should not be encouraged as this is more a want rather than a need in modern day as compared to primitive days where people kill for their food and to keep warm to survive. Us on the other hand now have other options in terms of food and survival. So why has the beluga leather now ceased in production? Well, your guess is as good as mine and I do not see many in the reseller markets. Perhaps it is not very well received as you know, this leather is difficult to sustain the supply of. That's probably my best guess. All in all, I am glad Hermes has stopped the production of the beluga whale leather. It is about time to be more environmentally conscious and increase our awareness. Being a conscious consumer in luxury goods would also mean embracing and acknowledging the leathers before purchase and making a conscious intention on whether to support the trade. Well, I thank you for joining me today. I know today's topic is a little heavy, serious and a lot to think about. But I guess my little discovery about the beluga whale leather is something I feel strongly about and is worth sharing. On a lighter note, I do enjoy pre-love and talking about leathers and sometimes digging into a little history and facts like this. So, if you're into this content, I would love you to subscribe and join my family. Take care, queens. Goodbye.